Okay, so now we're ready to work up our camphor solution from earlier. And I have a Ted round bottom flask. Can you see the mass on there? Okay, 33.940 grams. And I prepared, um, now often we just will quickly pour a liquid off the sodium sulfate. This is the organic layer containing our hopefully camphor uh, and it's been dried, in fact overnight, over sodium sulfate. And I, I would like to avoid the sodium sulfate getting into the flask. Now if you're careful you can do that uh, just by decanting very slowly. But if you're not so good at doing it, one little trick is to put a little glass wool in uh, the bottom of the funnel and that will prevent any from getting lost. So I'll pour that through. I'm still decanting. I don't want to get a ton of sodium sulfate in there. And now I may be leaving a little bit of the um, the camphor on the sodium sulfate. So I want to make sure I don't lose that. So I'm actually going to rinse off the crystals with just a small amount, about one milliliter here of ethyl acetate. This is good practice whenever you use sodium sulfate. And then I'll decant that over. And now this flask is ready to go on the road to evaporate it. So I'll see you over there. Okay, so let's put this uh, camphor on the road to evaporate and once this is evaporated down. This should give us our uh, camphor. Now I'm going to actually put some, before I start this going, I'm actually going to, I'll start it going, but I'm checking the vacuum on here. If I pull this, there's some resistance on here. I also need to start the water going. I'm going to take my glove off for that. So I don't contaminate the... And I'll start this turning now. old this road evaporator. I'm going to throw in some ice into here. The vacuum you get from a water pump of this type is limited by the vapor pressure of the water. So if I throw some ice in I get a better vacuum. That will over. Note also with a liquid you want to have the speed as fast as possible to avoid bumping. Once I put this into the hot water it will uh, probably But this is in ethyl acetate, which has a boiling point of about 76. So. If you're working with dichloromethane or ether, that will come over um, much faster and even. In cold water, that will tend to come over. I may lower this down as well. And we'll top that up with a 
little hot water and then we'll look at it in a few minutes. And you should be able to see now it's starting to come over. We're starting to get the ethyl acetate collecting here and then soon we'll start to see the solid um, camphor start to come out. Okay, so uh, now you can perhaps see we have the white solid. So that is our final camphor product and I'm going to take that off the rotor evaporator now. And there is our final sample. So I'll get a weight on this and then uh, I think we'll be done. <laughs> 